What's up guys, it's Kevin here. Today I am here in Chinatown KL to explore some culture and heritage. Let's take a look around, it's so bustling. It's literally the street that never sleeps. So Chinatown in KL has gone through some massive revamps over the past five years since 2019 to become a bit more hipster. Today I'm gonna to explore a bit more of the long-standing cultural buildings and elements here. They have been here for centuries. A bit of history, Kuala Lumpur was developed by Kapitan Yap Aloy in the middle 1800s due to the tin ore rush. Because of this, he set up many buildings with Chinese shop house influences around Bataling Street. They used to look like this. And eventually, the area became more and more developed in the 1900s, mixed with colonial architecture, until it became what we see today. Right, our first touch of history will be the Sin Ziya Temple right behind me and this is one of the oldest and first Chinese temples in Kuala Lumpur. It was founded around 1864 by Kapitan Yap Aloy to be a shrine to two of the deities, Sin Ziya and Si Ziya. Let's go inside. centuries worth of atmosphere over here and it's so peaceful you can just feel the zen in this place and also you see they have many of this really colorful stuff around so it's like a visual treat for your eyes everything looks really vibrant i love the open window concept for the second floor it makes it really nice and airy and lots of sunlight can come through so it really kind of illuminates this whole place and gives it like another dimension. Here we have an area dedicated to Kapitan Yap Aloy, one of the founding fathers of Kuala Lumpur. So this is literally an area just for him. I suppose among the deities. All in all, a good start to seeing the culture of Chinatown. So if you wanted to know more about the whole culture of that temple, next to it there's actually a museum that just opened up. Pioneers of Kuala Lumpur Museum, which is literally right next to that temple. Right, we are inside the museum and the entrance fee was 10 ringgit for an adult. I think it's the same for tourists or locals. So this is the entrance of it. So this museum is going to show us all about aspects of the founding of Kuala Lumpur. Before the 19th century, Kuala Lumpur was literally just a jungle covered in nature. There was nothing here and it was only because of discovery of tin ore that made this place prosper and people began to come all over here to work and that only happened like less than 200 years ago. So this is a diorama. Last time houses used to look like this in Kuala Lumpur. They kind of like settlements and very simple kind of like a shack house. You can just see they're by the river. Right, our next stop, technically not in Chinatown but really worthy to visit, this is Masjid Jamik, one of the oldest mosques in Kuala Lumpur, built in 1909. So I've just arrived here at the visitor area to uh, register and I had to wear a sarong because I was wearing shorts, so please dress appropriately for this place. The design of this mosque is actually Moorish and it's really interesting, it has a combination of a few elements. And over here we have two minarets, one on this side 
and one on this side you can see it's having this light pink and white stripe texture and that is to represent blood and bandage so it's repeating on this side too wow there are really many tourists in this area <laughs> have to remove our shoes as we enter in and everything here is all marble so it's really cooling Let's look at the green tinted windows. It's giving a kind of different vibe over here. I would say it's not as big as some of the other moss I've seen. And also this moss is a bit on the shorter height where it's only mostly two stories. This used to be the official moss in KL until 1950s when Masjid Nagara was built. Nevertheless, Many people still come here for prayers and also for social community gatherings. Oh, and by the way, this moss is actually by the river right here. I think it lights up at night or something like that called the River of Life. So yeah, check it out at night. Okay, in Chinatown, we cannot miss out Central Market. One of the oldest markets in KL and it used to be a wet market long time ago but now it's more like an arts and craft boutique uh, handicraft kind of place with art deco design and uh, recently they revamped so they kind of have new things now we haven't been here in a long time this section is new this pasta bazaar literally they revamped this place to become more like a nicer looking market grocer of course they maintain some of the normal shops here but this one yep this is new yeah so every other week there's always a bazaar here local goods and uh, artisanal bazaars they have mostly i would say touristy stuff for people to try like dodo over here local chocolates i've actually never seen some of them before to be honest only in Malaysia you can find durian chocolates. Yep, durian chocolates here, durian cookies, durian coffee. <laughs> yeah, I tried it before. It's really funky. Most of the boutique stuff in the middle are like towards the younger crowds and we have a lot of batik upstairs too so if you're looking for more traditional clothes you can go upstairs for batik personally i have never bought anything in pasasani like ever <laughs> i'm just here to take a look around in chinatown for some reason it's very popular to find florist shops ready-made bouquets for you to pick up or you can even choose a whole row and they're really pretty Wow, they're so pretty. Look at all of these flowers, they're so fresh. And you can buy them by the stock or ready-made bouquets. Walking along Jalan Tun HSK, we see one of the oldest Hindu temples here in Kuala Lumpur. That is the Sri Maha Mariamam Temple, built in 1873. It was previously a private family shrine and has now been opened to the public as a general temple and has gone through many rounds of renovations. So here we are inside the temple complex. A bit uh, strange because we could not enter from the main entrance which was this really grand arch. We had to enter through that little pathway. <laughs> I think it would have been nice if we could have walked through here. Nevertheless, here we are nestled between buildings. Look 
at the ceiling above me. Wow. So this is like the main square shrine area and the colors, wow, it's really blowing my mind. Take a look around, really vibrant. And uh, yeah, the fresh coat of painting, we can actually see it for ourselves right here. These columns, really thick layers of paint. <laughs> And that's like almost every inch of this place. So the temple goes around literally in a square. There's not much to see actually other than uh, the main center area. If you just walk around, I think there's some uh, murals you can see on the sides over here. Take a look. I think that's about it. <laughs> Maybe you could spend like 10 minutes here just to admire. Alright, that's all we have for our cultural exploration in Chinatown KL. I had such a fun time just to see all these places which I've never known. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!